Peppa Pig Tales. Let's jump in! Today, Peppa and her friends are at the park. They're about to have a scooter race. First to that tree is the winner. Ready? Steady. Go! <gasps> My wheel fell off. Oh, dear. <gasps> oh, excuse me, Mr Bull. Do you know how to fix my scooter, please? Oh, I definitely do. I know about lots about scooters. <laughs> Mr Bull does mm. not know lots about scooters. Hmm, that doesn't seem right. Don't worry, I'm a bit of an expert at scooters. Daddy does know lots about scooters. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, good o. Do you want to race scooters with us, Mr Bull? Um, well, the reason I don't know a lot about scooters is because I've never ridden one before. <gasps> but it's so fun! Yeah, you can go really fast. And it's much better than walking. Oh, my. That does sound fun when you put it like that. We'll teach you. Just put one foot on the scooter and push forward, like this. Seems simple enough. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Remember to push forward, Mr Bull. <laughs> hey, look at me! I'm scootering! Wahey! Yeah! <laughs> Turn with the handlebars. You mean like this? Whee! Yes! <laughs> Yay! 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 Oh, no! Mr. Bull doesn't know how to slow down. How do I stop? You need to use the brake, Mr. Bull. Brake? This bit? <laughs> Oh, my! How fun! I want to ride down the hill again! Yay! Yay! Scootering is so much more fun than walking! <laughs> Whee! 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 Pepper and Mr Bull are tired from going up the hill. Going uphill is a bit more work than going down. Maybe I should go downhill again. Good idea. Whee! Mr Bull loves riding scooters. Yay! Everyone loves riding scooters. Welcome oh. to the ice cream shop. It is a very hot day, so Peppa and George are playing ice cream shop. Here you go, Mr Daddy Pig. Oh, thank you. What would you like, Mrs Mummy Pig? I'd like a banana split, please. Hooray! Ooh. What's a banana split, Granny? <laughs> it's a type of dessert. First, we need to cut a banana in half. Nana! Oh! Ho, 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 ho! Now, we add ice cream, cherries and whipped cream. Ah. George <laughs> likes adding the ice cream. Careful! Don't squish the banana. <laughs> <laughs> and Peppa really likes adding whipped cream. Whoops! <laughs> 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 Don't forget the cherry on top. Here is your banana split, Mrs. Mummy Pig. <laughs> this looks delicious. Oh, please, could I have a Knickerbocker Glory? Uh -huh. A Knockanori? What's that, madam? Ho, ho, ho. Uh -huh. It's a type of ice cream sundae. Can you only eat them on Sundays? Oh. Ho, ho, not that type of Sunday. You can eat them any time. Ah. I'll show you. 
Uh -huh. We need ice cream, fruit, meringue, and cream. <laughs> Pepper and George add all the ingredients into the glass. Oh. And now you can decorate the top. Yay! Then decorate with wafers, colourful sprinkles, and sauce. Here you are, ah, madam. This looks wonderful. <laughs> now everyone has been served, what kind of ice cream would you two like? Hmm, a rainbow ah, one. Rainbow. Pepper and George use lots of different <laughs> coloured ice cream. Pink for strawberry, brown for chocolate, yellow for <laughs> banana. Nana. Then they add their toppings. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Let's mix it all together. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pepper and George have mixed all the colours together. We've made a muddy puddle. Ah. Not rainbow ice cream. I'm afraid we don't have much ice cream left. All we have is vanilla. My favourite. <laughs> Pepper and George like making special ice creams, but they love vanilla ice cream the most. Today, Pepper and George are helping Daddy Pig tidy some old boxes. What's this, Daddy? Ah, that's my trusty old camera, Pepper. You press the button to take a picture. Cheese! And it prints the photo out. Look, I can see it. Can I have a go, please? <laughs> Say cheese! Cheese! Now Pepper is taking photos with the camera. <laughs> this camera is really fun. <laughs> camera! <laughs> have fun! But there isn't much photo paper left, so use it wisely. George loves taking lots of photos. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, it's run out of photo paper. Oh, but I love taking pictures. Hmm. Why don't we use my phone's camera instead? It can even add filters to a photo. <laughs> Daddy Pig's phone camera has given George a pretend moustache. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's take more photos. Pepper and George are having lots of fun taking pictures. The phone camera has given Mummy Pig a flowery filter. Say cheese. Oh. And Grandpa Pig has a very fine hat. <laughs> Pepper, George, and Daddy Pig have come to the park to take even more photos. <laughs> Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Bird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say cheese, Mr. Bird. Cheese! <laughs> <laughs> what a funny photo! Daddy Pig wants to take a photo with Pepper and George <laughs> by the ducks. Say cheese, everybody. One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> Peppa and George are sticking all the photos from the day into a scrapbook. Look at this one, George. Bye! But some of the photos are blurry. Oh. The photos don't have to be perfect. They just have to remind you of a lovely day. Everyone loves taking photos, and everyone has had a very lovely day. Peppa and her family have bought lots of food at the supermarket. And now they have very rumbly tummies. <laughs> What's for dinner? My tummy's making lots of noises. Tonight, we're making tacos. Yay! What's a taco? Toe? And how do you make them? <laughs> it's a delicious food from Mexico. And the best way to make tacos is all together. <laughs> Pepper, George and Mummy Pig are washing vegetables for their tacos. Let's make sure the vegetables are nice and clean. 
Splish, splash, wish, wash, wash the veggies clean. Splish, splash, wish, wash, wash the veggies clean. <laughs> splish, splash, splash, splash. Now, Peppa and Mummy Pig are nice and clean too. Now the vegetables are clean, we can carefully slice some onions. Here you go, Daddy. <laughs> What's wrong, Daddy? Don't you like onions? Oh, don't worry, Peppa. The juice from the onions sometimes makes your eyes water. I just need something to cover my eyes. I know. Peppa knows a perfect way to protect their eyes from the onions. These are perfect, Peppa. Ah, onions again, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Now we'll make some guacamole. Hooray! I love guacamole. <laughs> then you can mash the avocado, Peppa. Peppa likes <laughs> mashing the avocado. It's very fun and messy. Oops! <laughs> Perhaps try a bit more gently, Peppa? Perfect! Now we mix in other ingredients. And add a very special squeeze of lime. <laughs> All right, George. You can add the special squeeze. Yay! <laughs> oh, it's a good job I'm wearing my safety goggles. <laughs> now all the ingredients are ready, it's time to put the tacos together. This is the best bit. Take your tortilla, like this. And add your favourite ingredients. <laughs> Peppa likes her taco with lots of guacamole. George likes his taco empty. Mummy and Daddy Pig like their tacos with everything. Everyone thinks the tacos are very tasty. But they've all dropped their filling. Hooray! Now we can put them together again. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy, tasty food. Yummy, tasty Today on the cruise, Peppa no. and her family are at a very special ah. type of restaurant. This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh, oh goody! The restaurant mm. buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. What would you like to eat, Peppa? Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and what would you like, George? Juice! <laughs> Thirsty, are you? <laughs> I think we can rustle up some orange <laughs> juice. Let's see here. Aha! The orange juice machine is very loud. And it hasn't made very much orange juice at all. Oh. Juice! We'll just have to make some more. Delicious. I can't wait to... Finished! Oh. Mm. <laughs> you were hungry, Pepper. Can I get some more now, please? Oh. Of course. Let's go. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is still trying to make George a cup of orange juice. Oh, dear. Could we have some more oranges, please, Miss Rabbit? Right away. Ooh. Peppa has found a very special pancake machine. Just one pancake, please, Mr. Robot. I can always come back and get more. Mm -hmm. Splendid! Aha! Granny Pig is ah. very excited to eat her spaghetti. Ah! Finish. Oh! Thank you, Pancake Robot. But now Peppa is thirsty mm. too. Can I get some juice as well, Granny? Of course. Grandpa Pig can get you some. I do wonder what's ah. taking him so long. <gasps> Grandpa Pig has finally made a cup of orange juice. 
In fact, Grandpa Pig has made lots of cups of orange juice. Oh. The machine has finally stopped oh. making orange juice. Phew. Silly Grandpa. You don't need to make all the juice. You can always come back and get more. Peppa loves the buffet restaurant. And George really <laughs> loves orange juice. Pretty cool, eh, Pepper? <laughs> Daddy, we're getting shoes for George, not you. Oh, yes. Today, George is buying <laughs> some new shoes. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. <laughs> George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots oh. of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. Hooray! First, we need to measure your feet. Pop your foot in the measurer, please. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you <gasps> like, George? Shoes! <laughs> Those are bowling shoes. George <laughs> loves to go bowling. And he <laughs> loves bowling <laughs> shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <laughs> shoes! Shoes! <laughs> those are tap dancing uh -huh. shoes. Uh -huh. They're very noisy! <laughs> George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy! <laughs> George oh. loves clown Whoa. shoes. Whoa. <laughs> They're too big. And George is very small. Oh. Uh. Shoes! Shoes! George tries on lots of shoes. <laughs> Tall ones. Little ones. Yay! And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. <laughs> they are slippers, George. They are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like new shoes <gasps> that are just like his old <laughs> shoes. Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! George <laughs> loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. Hmm. Today, Peppa and her family have been at the supermarket. Outside the supermarket is a toy machine. Yay! Ooh! Mandy Mouse has got a toy. Well done, Mandy. Peppa, George, would you like a go on the toy machine? Yes, please. How does it work, Miss Rabbit? You just buy a token and put it in the slot. Then a ball rolls all the way down to the bottom of the machine and there's a <laughs> special surprise toy inside. Dinosaur! George would like to get a dinosaur toy. How fun! You can have one try each. Here you go. Yay! <laughs> Yay! George's token makes the machine light up and play music. A ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. Whoa! Dinosaur! Oh. George has got a toy screwdriver. A screwdriver! How useful! Dinosaur. Don't worry, George. I'll try to get the dinosaur too. 
Now, Pepper's token makes the machine light up and a different ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> oh. Pepper hasn't got the dinosaur, but she has got some very nice stickers. Dinosaur! What lovely toys you got. <gasps> but look, our ice cream is starting to melt. So close, I have a feeling the dinosaur will come out next time. <laughs> Please, can we have one more go, Mummy? Please! Oh, go on then. <laughs> one more try. Hooray! Peppa and George pull the lever on the toy machine. But this time, no balls pop out. Oh! <laughs> Oh dear, I wanted to see what toy you were going to get. Not to <gasps> worry, Mummy Pig, I can fix it. I just need to find my screwdriver. Nope, nope. Screwdriver! <gasps> ah, thank you, George. <gasps> <gasps> Yay! Oh! <gasps> Miss Rabbit has fixed the machine too much. Now all the balls have fallen out. I'd better put these back, but I think you earned this for helping me fix the machine. <gasps> Dinosaur! <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This is for you. Eh? <laughs> Everyone loves the toy machine, and George really loves dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are at a fun fair. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house, please? Hello, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. <laughs> Yay! This is the Rickety Rackety Bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> Peppa is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. <laughs> Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations! Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The funhouse mirrors make <laughs> Peppa and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! And this mirror makes me look like Miss Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> <laughs> Follow me to the twisty, turny tunnel. <laughs> the Funhouse Tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! Whee! And it's very windy. <laughs> <laughs> look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Slide! I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? The fun house was really fun. How fitting. Everyone <laughs> loves the fun house because the fun house is very fun. Huh. Uh. 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 Wow! Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. Well done! You 
got a high score. That's because Pepper and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Pepper. If you collect lots of these, you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens! <laughs> Can we play that game next? Of course, Pepper. Mummy Pig is showing Pepper how to play Carrot Bop. She is bopping the carrots whenever they pop up. Bop! 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 <laughs> Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please. Bop! Bop! Daddy? Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Peppa. <laughs> was fun. But is there a game we can play all together? I know just the game. <laughs> Peppa and her family are playing a balloon game. Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. Did we get another high score? Yes, your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot. Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize. Hooray! Let's go! Hello again, Peppa. Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? Of course. With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade, and Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. Today, Peppa and George are helping Daddy Pig tidy some old boxes. <laughs> What's this, Daddy? Ah, that's my trusty old camera, Peppa. You press the button to take a picture. Cheese! And it prints the photo out. Look, I can see it. Can I have a go, please? <laughs> Say cheese! Cheese! Now Peppa is taking photos with the camera. This camera is really fun. Camera! <laughs> have fun! But there isn't much photo paper left, so use it wisely. George loves taking lots of photos. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, it's run out of photo paper. Oh, but I love taking pictures. Hmm. Why don't we use my phone's camera instead? It can even add filters to a photo. <laughs> Daddy Pig's phone camera has given George a pretend moustache. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's take more photos. Peppa and George are having lots of fun taking pictures. The phone camera has given Mummy Pig a flowery filter. Say cheese. Oh. And Grandpa Pig has a very fine hat. <laughs> Peppa, George and Daddy Pig have come to the park to take even more photos. <laughs> Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Bird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say cheese, Mr. Bull. Cheese! <laughs> <laughs> what a funny photo! Daddy Pig wants to take a photo with Pepper and George <laughs> by the ducks. 
Say cheese, everybody. <laughs> One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are sticking all the photos from the day into a scrapbook. Look at this one, George. Bye! But some of the photos are blurry. Oh. The photos don't have to be perfect. They just have to remind you of a lovely day. Everyone loves taking photos and everyone has had a very lovely day. Peppa and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Police, we'll help you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino, Nino. Oh my! What is it, Madam Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> This sounds like a mystery. Ah. Don't worry. Me and police officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special <laughs> pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you oh. seen the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well, we'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Peppa and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> It's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue! Aha! Uh -huh. You've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Pepper and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ah! Oh, but they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm, I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning, then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it! <laughs> we solved the mystery! <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police <gasps> officers. <laughs> Watch out! Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Miss, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> no splashing, Mr Bull. Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's OK, Mr Bull. The second rule is no running. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Mr Bull, no running Sorry again Mr Bull doesn't know any of the rules And the last rule is Everyone must have a simply splendid time Oh, oh Have a splendid time Mr Bull Oh, ho, ho, ho. right you are, Pepper. Enjoy the pool, everyone. What shall we do first? 
Let's go on the water slide. Hooray! Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! <laughs> well, you're in luck. There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race. Good idea. Lucky I brought my flag. On your marks, get set, go! And Danny Dog zooms into the lead, followed by Pepper. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close. Water slide racing at its best. Hello, Danny. Hello, Mr. Bull. <laughs> Finish line! It's neck and neck! Who will come out on top? It's... A draw! Everybody wins! Peppa and her friends love the slides, but they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Uh -huh. <coughs> no splashing! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> It's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now, follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. And how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's <gasps> lots of colours. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice tastes scrum diddly umptious. But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting juice. <laughs> This is orange uh -huh. juice. Mmm. <laughs> this is apple juice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm. This tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Pepper loves learning about juice. And Peppa really loves her delicious rainbow juice. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, oh, well done, Edmund. Yay! 
This room has a balance beam. You have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George, Pepper and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. Whee! <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily! Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> this is the final Whoa. room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. A super strike for a super bowler. Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> to get a super strike too. I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. OK. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese. Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead. Like this. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa. Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Oh. Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Whoa! Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Now you try, Pedro. OK, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! 
But Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> What's this? Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler. Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. Hello, everybody! Today, Peppa and her family have come to a concert of Madame Gazelle's band, the Rocking Gazelles. I can't see anything. How about now? Hooray! Thank you! <laughs> oh dear, Gerald Giraffe is also on his daddy's shoulders and is blocking everyone's view. Oh, hi, Peppa! <laughs> hi, George! Gerald and his daddy have moved to the side, so now everyone can see. With the one and two and one, two, three, four! Yay! Everyone is having a wonderful time! Peppa and Daddy Pig are really enjoying the music. Are you having fun, Peppa? Yes! Are you having fun, George? George? Peppa and Daddy Pig have accidentally ended up <laughs> in the middle of the crowd. We'll come and find you soon, Mummy Pig. What? I said we'll come and find you soon. But I don't need a spoon. Have fun, George. Whee! Everyone is dancing. It's like being in a big dancing swimming pool. Ho, ho, ho. There are even some inflatable beach balls. Got it. Well done, Peppa. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> oh. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Bull. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Not to worry. Happens all the time. That's okay. I love pop music. In fact, it reminds me of my next song. One, two, three, four. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. You found us. Mummy and George Pig have danced all the way to the front of the concert too. Madame Gazelle has invited Peppa and her family to join them on stage. <laughs> pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Hooray! Yay! Everyone loves Madame Gazelle's concert. And everyone really loves pop pop popping bubbles. George! Tonight, George is having a sleepover with Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit. All right, everyone, time for bed. Don't worry, Mummy. I'll make sure they all go to sleep. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Come on then. Into your sleeping bags. Quick march. Peppa likes being in charge. Well done, Peppa. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Only joking. <gasps> you can't go to sleep yet. There's lots of fun things you have to do first. <gasps> George has never had a sleepover before. He is very excited. First, we have to have a midnight feast. Ah! Ooh. Oh, you've turned into ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I know a spooky story about ghosts. George, Richard and Edmund <laughs> love stories. This is a ghost story about a muddy puddle that wasn't muddy. Ahem! 
paranormal apparitions, or ghosts as they're commonly known, do not exist. It is scientifically impossible. Edmund is a clever clogs. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Can I tell a story? Um, OK. <coughs> Ahem. Once upon a time, there was a giant pig and a, a very small rabbit. Squeak, squeak, squeak! And they chased each other forever and ever. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good story. Oh, I've got another one. This one is about... George, Edmund and Richard have turned into ghosts again. <laughs> Silly George. <sighs> oh, do you know what's next? Yay! We have to stay up very late until, <sighs> um, 100 o'clock. Ready? Oh. I don't think George understands sleepovers. <laughs> How's everything going, Peppa? They're fast asleep, Mummy. Well done. I think you've earned a midnight feast. Hooray! George and his friends like playing sleepover games, but they love to sleep. Pretty cool, eh, Peppa? <laughs> Daddy, we're getting shoes for George, not you. Oh, yes. Today, George is <laughs> buying some new shoes. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. <laughs> George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots oh. of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. Hooray! First, we need to measure your feet. Pop your foot in the measurer, please. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you ah. like? George? Shoes! Those are bowling shoes. George <laughs> loves to go bowling. And he oh. loves bowling <laughs> shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <laughs> shoes! Shoes! Those are tap dancing uh -huh. shoes. Uh -huh. They're very noisy! George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy. <laughs> shoes! They are clown shoes. Uh -huh. George oh. loves clown Whoa. shoes. Whoa. <laughs> They're too big. And George is very small. Uh, uh, shoes! Shoes! <laughs> George tries on lots of shoes. Tall ones. Little ones. And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. Shoes! Dinosaur! They are slippers, George. They are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like ah. new shoes ah. that are just <laughs> like his old <laughs> shoes. Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! <laughs> George loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. It is bedtime, Whee! but George isn't sleeping, so neither are Pepper or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. 
There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Pepper! <laughs> um, yes, Super Pepper. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. Uh -oh. <laughs> Until... One day, she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Dinosaur. Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely? Yes. Uh, excuse me. It's the dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> so relaxing. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. She tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. That's everything we did. There's nothing left to try. <sighs> The bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Peppa. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish the story? Peppa and her friends are going to play on the seesaw. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Is there a problem, Mr. Bull? Just finishing fixing the seesaw, Daddy Pig. There, now it's safe as houses and ready to go. Hooray! Pepper loves playing on the seesaw. Will you play with me, Mr. Bull? It's fun. Me? Why not? It is fixed and ready after all. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. How are you going to get down? You need to go up so Peppa can come down. Oh, like this? Whee! <laughs> Mr. Bull is stuck at the bottom of the seesaw. Mr. Bull is a grown-up and Peppa is small, so the seesaw won't balance. You need something heavy on Peppa's side. Blimey, how do you know that? I am a clever clogs. <laughs> Righto then. Peppa's backpack will make ah. her heavier. Ah. <laughs> up, 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 up. <laughs> Whee! Whee! Oh. <laughs> we are as high as the clouds. <laughs> Mr. Bull is still stuck oh. at the bottom of the seesaw. I suppose it's good fun at the bottom too. What a cracking view of the grass. <laughs> we need another grown-up to play with Mr. Bull. Meow. Hmm. I wonder where we can find another grown-up. You're a grown-up, Daddy. 
Oh, yes, so I am. I'll play with you, Mr. Bull. Ah. Yay! Whoa! <laughs> Daddy Pig Whoa. and Mr. Bull are both grown-ups. So the seesaw is balanced and goes up and down. Stop! Are you not having fun, Mr. Bull? I'm having a brilliant time. I just wanted to see the view. Okie dokie, let's go! Whee! Up into the sky! Hello, sun! Hello, grass! Hello, clouds! <laughs> Hello, pepper! <laughs> 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 Gosh, what a frightfully loud horn! Today, <laughs> Peppa and her family are on a cruise ship. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard. Are you ready for the safety tour? First mate Miss Rabbit has come to show them all the things that make the ship safe. I can't wait. I know a thing or two about boats, you know. I think I might have a tour of those sun lounges. Have fun! This way, everyone! Bye! Bye. <laughs> Ooh. This big boat has lots of small boats hanging off the side. Ah. These are the lifeboats. If the ship stops working, we put on our life jackets and hop inside. Here's your life jacket, Pepper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, well, here's yours, Grandpa Pig. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> no running on the deck, please. The floor on a boat oh. is called the deck. <laughs> Sorry. That's OK. On with the tour. Follow me <laughs> up the stairs. Hi, <laughs> Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. These look like big spinning spoons. They are the satellites. They tell the ah. ship which way to go. Are these giant mirrors, Miss Rabbit? Oh, oh, oh. no, Peppa. These are... Well, they're... Um, what are they, Miss Rabbit? These are the solar panels. Our ship is powered by energy from the sun. Of course. Jolly good job, son. <laughs> One more stop on the tour to go. Time to head back down. <gasps> what a good idea, George. Hop in, everyone. Whee! Whee! Ooh, this wow. is the bridge. Wow. <laughs> this isn't a bridge, it's a room. The place where the captain drives a big ship like this is called the bridge. Oh, what do all these buttons do? I could answer that. I know a thing or two about boats, you know. <clears throat> this button turns the lights on. Whoops. <laughs> um, and this lever makes us speed up. Oh. Ooh. Perhaps I ought to stop. Good idea. What does this button do? That's the foghorn. It makes a very loud noise that tells other boats we're nearby. Do you want to give it a push? Yes, please. <coughs> Gosh! Oh! <laughs> what a frightfully loud horn! <laughs> Sorry, Granny. <laughs> Peppa loves exploring the cruise ship, but she loves the foghorn most of all. Today, Peppa and her family are exploring an air show. Miss Rabbit is flying a hot air balloon. The sky is full of hot air balloons. Wow, there's so many of them. A cloud, a broccoli, a clown, a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good, George. What's that? That is a biplane, Pepper. What is it doing? Some planes can write messages or draw in the sky. The biplane has drawn a picture of Pepper in the sky. It's me. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello Dr. Dr. Hamster. Hamster. Thank you for the sky picture. You're very welcome. 
Off I go! Oh. What's this? Is that another hot air balloon? This is a blimp. It floats like a balloon but has little propellers that help it fly along like a plane. Peppa and George think the blimp is very exciting. Would you all like a ride? Blimp! 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 blimp. The blimp is taking off into the sky. We're so high up! This is the captain's announcement. In the sky, you'll see a bird. Hello, birds! A cloud. Hello, clouds! Oh, and Dr. <gasps> Hamster. Hello again! There's so many buttons. Oh, yes. It takes lots of work to pilot a blimp like this. So please don't press any buttons. Um... <laughs> <laughs> This steering wheel helps move the blimp in different directions. Up and down and side to side. <laughs> and the radio Ooh. lets us make announcements to the whole air show. Ooh, can I make a pronouncement? I have a very important renouncement to make. Of course. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. I'm in a blimp. Which is a bit like a balloon, but also a plane. <laughs> I hope you all have a lovely time at the air show. Oh dear, we've forgotten one very important oh. thing. A pilot hat <laughs> for Peppa and George. I'm Pilot Peppa. Pilot! Peppa <laughs> loves the air show. Everyone loves the air show. <laughs> Today, Peppa is very excited to get ready for playgroup. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hop. That's because today <laughs> is... Picture day! Hooray! Madam hmm. Gazelle has made a special photo booth for picture day. Ooh. Mm. Ready for your picture, Peppa? Yes. I stayed clean and tidy all morning. That's fun. I brought my football kit for my picture. Oh. Peppa didn't know that she could dress up for picture day. Hello, children. You may dress up for your pictures if you like. Hooray! But remember, all that matters is that your picture shows something special about you. <gasps> oh! oh. Would you like to go first, Danny? Yes, please. <laughs> Peppa mm. thinks Danny's pictures look very good indeed. <laughs> Susie Sheep has dressed as a nurse for her picture. She loves to dress up as a nurse. Mandy Mouse loves to play the recorder, so she is playing a song in her pictures. What a lovely tune, Mandy. George, would you like to go next? What are you going to use for your picture, George? Dinosaur! George has decided to take his picture with his favourite toy. What a ferocious dinosaur you are, George. Peppa, it's your turn. But I haven't found anything perfect to wear, Madam Gazelle. Oh, you don't have to wear something special, Peppa. Your picture just has to have something that makes you happy. Oh. Nothing makes Peppa happier <gasps> than jumping in muddy puddles. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Perfect! Now there is just one picture left to take. A class uh, picture. But who is going to take the picture, Madam Gazelle? The camera has a timer, huh? so it will take the picture all by itself in three... Two, one, say cheese! Cheese! Peppa and her friends love Picture Day, but oh. Madam Gazelle loves Picture Day most of all. <laughs> Stop!
Stop! Today, Peppa and her family are walking to the duck pond. But there's a big metal barrier in the way. Sorry, folks. The path is closed. But we're almost at the pond. Huh? I'm afraid it's much too slippy. Whoa! <laughs> Just follow the diversion signs with the bright red arrows. Won't take you long. A diversion is when you have to go a different way. Come on, everyone. <laughs> It'll be an adventure. See you soon, ducks. <laughs> 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 Here it is! Oh. Peppa has found the first bright red arrow. <gasps> and another. Huh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and another. <gasps> hmm. oh. <gasps> <gasps> but the next sign has fallen down. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Sign. Nobody knows which way to go. Hmm. Do we go left or right? The right way sounds right. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> uh, are we lost? We're not lost. We just don't know where we are. When you don't know where you are, you are probably lost. Um... Look, oh. a duck! Hello, duck! <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Duck. Do you know where the duck pond is? What a spot of luck! Lead the way, duck. This is a duck trail, Daddy. We must all waddle like ducks. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Peppa and her family have made it to the duck pond. We did it! Yay! You took your time. I bet you're glad you took the diversion. Yes. It was much more fun. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> and much less slippery. Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 Oh. Me! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go And the brakes make it stop And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn Whee! It's just like riding a bike Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, dear. I think I went a little bit too fast. Now, how do I turn around? <laughs> <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forwards, Susie. Forwards? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <gasps> Remember to use the brake, Danny. <laughs> Huh? 
Mummy Pig is having trouble oh. making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Peppa is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much better. <laughs> Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. <laughs> there we go. Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. <laughs> Peppa and her family are taking baby Alexander on the Ferris wheel, but he isn't very happy. What's that smell? <laughs> yeah! Hmm, it's baby Alexander. He needs a nappy change. But we're at the front of the queue for the Ferris wheel. Ooh. Hold your noses, everyone. Boo! This Ferris wheel smells terrible. Sorry, Peppa, but it's our job to look after baby Alexander. If we help now, we can play later. Yes. Baby Alexander needs our help. That's the spirit. Now let's go and look for a nappy changing station. Oh, that's better. Not here. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Definitely not here. <laughs> Ooh, here. Well done, Pepper. We found the nappy changing station. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Um, where is the bin? Hmm. Ooh. Here it is, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, we must wash our hands. Add a dab of cream. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Now, finally, a clean nappy. Can I do this bit, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. There. All better. That was so fun. I've never changed a nappy before. You did very well, Peppa. But do you know what's even more fun than changing a nappy? The Ferris wheel! wheel. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Phew! Wow! wow. Oh, oh, goody! goody. What's, what's, this? what's this? Today is Arts and Crafts Day at Peppa's Playgroup. I have many <gasps> fun arts and crafts planned for today. First is painting. Ooh. But where are the brushes? They're right here. No one is sure what Madame Gazelle means. Where? <laughs> I don't see anything. We're doing finger painting. Instead of brushes, you paint with your hands. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are enjoying making their finger paintings. A lovely flower, Peppa. Thank 
you, Madam Gazelle. What a wonderful butterfly, Susie. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> oh, and Danny, that's a marvellous puddle. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Danny is jumping in his painting just like a real muddy puddle. Ah, brilliant idea, Danny. We'll do face painting next. Everyone is getting their face painted. Susie is a butterfly. Danny is a zebra. Freddie and Emily are a tiger and a fish. And Pepper is green. I'm green. <laughs> oh! That gives me a fantastic idea. Madame Gazelle has brought over a big oh. canvas with tape on it. What's that, Madame Gazelle? Why, it's a beautiful picture, of course. But I don't see a picture. That's because it's not finished. Each of you take a bottle of paint and splatter as much as you like <laughs> onto this canvas. <laughs> well done, children. Get messy, have fun, try not to spill on the floor. Everyone is having lots of fun painting on the big canvas. It's beautiful. I love it. Me too. Hmm. But I still don't see a picture. Aha! You will soon, Peppa. Madame Gazelle is taking the tape off the canvas. The tape has made the painting into the shape of... A star! Peppa loves... <gasps> Peppa and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> Have an idea. <gasps> There's so many fish, Peppa. <gasps> How did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. What's the matter, Peppa? I wish I had a trunk like Emily, so I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. Come with me, Peppa. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look. <gasps> no, Peppa. Yuck. Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. <sighs> the snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths like this. <sighs> Peppa practices taking big, deep breaths. Do you want to try again? Um, OK. <gasps> I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish! Yes, well done! And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> And to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Yay! Hooray! Hello, I'm King Peppa.
Peppa. It's another day at Playgroup, and everyone is pretending Peppa is the king. I'm the king, and I say everyone should eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> of course, Your Majesty. Hooray! <laughs> King Pepper is enjoying being king of the playgroup. She really likes all the yummy food. I've brought you some raisins, <gasps> Mrs. King. Oh, thank you, Candy. I love raisins. Mmm. But I am getting very full. Um, can I be the king for a while if you're full, King Pepper? Good idea. Here you go, King Pedro. Oh. Now, Pedro Pony <laughs> is the king of the playgroup. I say everyone has to hop. Hmm. Why, Mr. Highness? Because hopping is fun. <laughs> king Pedro is right. Hopping is fun. <laughs> Very good hopping, Danny. Well, thank you, King Pedro. Hop. <laughs> King Pedro, you said everyone should hop. That means you should too. Oh, that's right. Hop, 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 hop. Would you like to be the king now, Candy? <gasps> Meow. Yes, please. Hop, hop. <laughs> now Candy is the king. <laughs> oh, I say everyone has to be really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now everyone has to be loud. <laughs> 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 Everyone is enjoying King Candy and King Danny's rules very much. Quiet! <laughs> now! <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> oh. Oh. Now George is the king. King George says that everyone should dinosaur. Everyone loves being king of the playgroup, but everyone loves being dinosaurs even more. <gasps> that car went really fast. Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look, and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Pepper. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Pepper is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Peppa. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute. 
Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh, so you're not a robber? Nope. Oh, well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK, bye, Pepper. Ooh. Great work, Officer Pepper. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man! That means we can go! All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Pepper loves keeping everyone safe and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. Hello, everyone. I'm Pepper, the dentist. I'll help you look after your teeth. Whoa! Today, Miss Rabbit has come to teach Peppa's playgroup about teeth. Peppa is pretending she is a dentist. <laughs> Got you. For you. Thank you, Peppa. Well, now that you've caught your teeth, <laughs> who knows what we can do to look after them? Um... um... <laughs> Go to the dentist? That's right. Who has been to the dentist before? Me, 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 me. Gerald Giraffe has not been to the dentist before. Can I show Gerald what it's like at the dentist, Miss Rabbit? I've been lots of times. What a great idea. <laughs> Peppa is pretending she is the dentist and Gerald is the patient. Hello, Mr Gerald. Please sit on this enormous chair. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Dentist. Here is your apron. <laughs> <gasps> Why do I need glasses, Mrs. Pepper? For this big light. Please open wide, like this. Ah! Uh, so I can see your teeth. Ah! Uh... Pepper is using the torch to see Gerald's teeth. You have very nice teeth, Mr Gerald. So you get a sticker. Thank you. <laughs> Hooray! Well done, Pepper and Gerald. <laughs> Does anyone know a way we can look after our teeth at home? Um, um, uh, we can brush our teeth. That's right, Susie. Brushing our teeth keeps them clean. Shall we practice brushing our teeth? Yes! <laughs> Miss Rabbit is giving everyone toothbrushes so they can practice brushing their teeth. First, we get the brush wet. <laughs> <laughs> then we put some toothpaste on. Everyone is adding little dollops of toothpaste to their toothbrush. But Candy has added a big dollop. Now what do we do, class? We... Brush! <laughs> Remember to brush the front and the side, top and bottom. Well done, everyone. <laughs> everyone did very well today, so everyone gets stickers. <gasps> Peppa likes pretending to be a dentist and Peppa really likes stickers. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have been shopping at the supermarket. Goodbye, supermarket. Supermarket! <laughs> Is that a robot? <laughs> no, Peppa. It's a vending machine. You put money in to buy the food and drinks inside. Can we buy something from the robot, please? <laughs> OK. We can each choose one thing as a special treat. Yay! Peppa is very excited to buy something from the robot vending machine. Here you go, Peppa. <laughs> Goodbye, coin. Now... 
press the button that matches the thing you would like. I would like an orange juice. There it is! Hooray! Delicious! <laughs> dinosaur! George has found a biscuit shaped like a dinosaur. Here you go, George. <laughs> now, press the button with the dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> <laughs> I think I will have hmm that drink. Oh dear, it's stuck. Daddy Pig's drink is stuck on a sandwich. The sandwich is in the way. Naughty sandwich. We'll need to buy the sandwich as well, so the drink will fall down with it. It's stuck again. Naughty pineapple. Ah, let's buy that too. It's stuck again. Again. <laughs> the drink has finally fallen all the way down to the bottom. Goody! I can finally have my drink. <gasps> oh no! My drink has turned into fizz. Poor Daddy. Why don't you choose something else from the vending machine? Good idea. <gasps> oh, the vending machine is empty. That's because we bought everything. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa is trying very hard to open a piñata and get the treats inside because today Peppa's playgroup are learning about a Mexican holiday called Cinco de Mayo. Oh, children! We need more decorations for the classroom to make the class look extra ah. happy. So let's make some pom-pom flowers. Pom-pom! <laughs> I like that word. Just attach the cardboard stem to the middle of the ball of tissue paper and voila! Wow! wow. Oh. Oh. I can't make the flower. I will help you. <laughs> mm. This is tricky. Oh, dear. <laughs> Everyone has made a lot of pom-pom flowers. Well, did we make too many? Of course not. Now our classroom <laughs> looks extra, extra happy. Next, we're going to make some delicious guacamole. Guacamole? Guacamole. Mm. It's a Mexican treat made of avocados, and you eat it with carrots or <gasps> cucumber or special crisps called tortillas. Oh. Guacamole. <laughs> guacamole. 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 <laughs> Madame Gazelle is peeling an avocado and adding some lime juice and salt to the bowl. Now we just need to mash it all together. <laughs> oh! Mmm! Guacamole! Would anyone like to try some guacamole? Yes, please. Mmm! Delicious! Mm. Yummy guacamole, mm. yummy guacamole. <laughs> Wonderful, Peppa. Another way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo is to sing. Yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole. And dancing is another important part of Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Pepper has hit the pinata, and all the sweets are pouring out. Peppa is enjoying her first Cinco de Mayo and really enjoying... It is dinner time, but dinner has been burned. Oh dear, do you think we can still eat it? <laughs> I think we should treat ourselves to a takeaway. Hooray! We choose what kind of food we like and it gets delivered to our house. There's Chinese takeaway. Indian takeaway or sushi. Can we have this one, please? Pepper wants to order Chinese takeaway. Let's have this and this. And don't forget the special surprise. Ah. Pepper and her family have ordered lots of delicious food. <laughs> what happens now? Well, first the restaurant has to cook the food and then they'll deliver it. Oh, but how do they know where we live? I gave them our address when we ordered the takeaway. But how will it get here? Miss Rabbit will bring it on her bike. Oh, look, she's nearly here. Let's go and find Yay! her. <laughs> huh? Pepper and George have gone to the wrong door. Oh, oh. it's here! It's here. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your takeaway, Pepper. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Got to dash. Lots of food to deliver. <laughs> Rice, noodles, vegetable rolls. And a special Ooh. surprise for afterwards. Yay! Pepper and George don't know what the special <laughs> surprise is. Mmm, I love rice. And I love my spicy noodles. They're my favourite. Ooh, they might be my favourite too. Can I try some? Yes, but just try a tiny bit. Mmm, I love noodles. Oh, but they are a bit spicy. Spicy noodles are not Pepper's favourite. <laughs> Here, try a vegetable spring roll. <laughs> Mmm, vegetable spring rolls are my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her family have finished their Chinese takeaway. Are you ready for the special surprise? Hooray! These are called fortune cookies. They have a special message inside that brings you good luck. Ooh. This good luck tastes amazing. Peppa loves Chinese takeaway. <laughs> Everyone loves Chinese takeaway. Today, Peppa and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness, we better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no, we're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> and there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. So, we are here. And we need to get here. We can take the blue train first. And then, take the red train. Yes, well done, Pepper. Off we go. First, Pepper must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Pepper. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Pepper. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> the train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. 
On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Pepper. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! <laughs> Big celebrity coming through! Make way for the star, thank you! <laughs> no autographs today! Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a... Pepper and her family are flying in an aeroplane. I love flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> but not everyone loves flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> oh, hello, Madam Gazelle. George and I love flying. <laughs> Do you love it too? Actually, I have never been on an aeroplane before, and I am scared. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Miss Rabbit, please can you make the plane go really, really high? I don't see why not. Oh. It's really fun when the plane goes high, Madam Gazelle. Look, we're nearly in space. Oh. Can we go lower instead, Miss Rabbit? Certainly. Oh! Whee! <laughs> oh! Too low! Far too low! Hmm. Let's do a loop de loop. Oh! <laughs> I don't think that worked either, George. Look, Madam Gazelle, oh. that cloud is shaped like a bird. Do you see? Yes, I see. <gasps> and that one is shaped like a relaxing desert island. Dinosaur! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I will just close my eyes and wait for this to be over. Oh, dear. Hello. Would you two like an activity book? They're lots of fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Would you like to oh. do some colouring in with us, Madam Gazelle? Well, I suppose that might keep my mind off things. <laughs> and so Pepper, George and Madam Gazelle did some relaxing colouring for the rest of the flight. <laughs> Look at these! The line work! <gasps> the attention to detail! Incredible! A star plus! Oh, hooray! We've landed! Whee! Already? But I was having fun! That wasn't scary at all! I told you, flying is really fun! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and George. Now I cannot wait to fly home. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her family are out in the car. Oh. But they're having a bit of trouble. Oh, dear. The car won't start. You've broken oh. down. Don't worry. 
I'll take you to the garage. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Mr. Bull is towing the car away to be fixed. George and Pepper like being towed. Hmm. Oh, ha! Oh, dear. I see. Well, we can fix it. Oh, good. But we'll have to order a new part. It won't be easy or cheap. Oh. <gasps> oh, dear. How long will it take? It will take oh, as long as it takes. But how will I get to work? There's lots of cars you can use while yours is being fixed. Follow me. There's lots of spare cars at the garage. Pick any one you like. <gasps> A motorbike. This is perfect. Oh. Let's take it for a test drive. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes riding the motorbike. Hello. <gasps> but motorbikes don't keep you dry in the rain. Hmm. Maybe we need something a bit tougher. Let's try this. Pepper has found a monster truck, which is very tough. I think a monster truck might be a bit too tough for what we need. Sorry. What about something nice and spacious, like this bus? Ah. <laughs> Mummy Pig likes the bus very much. Ooh. <gasps> it's ever so roomy and peaceful. Oh, dear. But everyone thinks it's a real bus. There's only one car left for Peppa and her family to try. It's a bit smelly. That's because it's my lorry for collecting the recycling. So you can't take that one, I'm afraid. I'm not sure we'll ever find a car as perfect as our car. <laughs> well, that's lucky. You took so long to pick a new car that we managed to fix your old one. Hooray! Thank you, Mr. Bull. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Pepper's family like driving different cars, but they like driving their family car most of all. <laughs> Today, the cruise has stopped on an island, so Pepper and Granny Pig can go surfing. Oh. But there aren't mm -hmm. any waves. Where did all the waves go? It looks like the water is too calm for surfing today, Pepper. You can help me and George collect shells instead, if you like. Shiny! Whee! Hi! Oh, hello, everyone! What? I have a little paddle boat if you want to try it, Peppa. Oh! Peppa is very <laughs> excited to try the paddle boat. Mm -hmm. Yes, please! <laughs> and Granny Pig can ride with me on my jet ski. Oh, but um, Granny Pig isn't sure she'll uh, enjoy Miss Rabbit's jet ski. Uh, Peppa uh, and Granny Pig have put on some life jackets oh. and helmets to keep safe. <laughs> now they are ready to ride on the water. Peppa's paddle boat has pedals to make it go. That's right, Peppa. Pedal forwards to make the boat move forward. <laughs> Does it go Off any we go! <laughs> Have you found any colourful <laughs> shells, George? <laughs> oh, <laughs> this one's perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. George is finding lots of shells oh. on the beach. <laughs> How about we use the shells to make a picture? Peppa oh. is having lots of fun <laughs> out on the water. <laughs> Granny! <laughs> but Granny Pig is looking rather seasick. Too fast, Miss Rabbit! <laughs> George has made a dinosaur out of shells. Ooh, dinosaur! How 
clever. It just needs one more special shell for the eye. Oh. <laughs> Shiny! Well <laughs> done, George. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's wave has washed George's shells back into the sea. Hello. Oh. George. Hello, Grandpa. Oh, dear. <laughs> but look! Your special shiny shell is still here. Shiny! Wow! I like your sand dinosaur picture, George. George's <laughs> shells have left a dinosaur shape in the sand. Dinosaur! Peppa <laughs> loves having fun at the beach. <laughs> Everyone loves having fun at the Today is Pancake Day at Peppa's Playgroup. Ah! the pancake pictures? Yes, we can! We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Pepper pours flour into the bowl. <laughs> Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What is it? Hmm. <laughs> what are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. <laughs> oh! Peppa! The pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. <laughs> The rainbow pancake. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Hello, Let's make the biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madam Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. Oh dear! I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves Pancake Day. Everyone loves Pancake Day. Today, Peppa is enjoying the flowers in Grandpa Pig's garden. <laughs> oh, bless you, Peppa. What is all this yellow stuff, Grandpa? That is called <laughs> pollen. Bees carry it around the garden and help flowers grow. Thank you for helping the flowers, little bee. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Peppa. You mustn't touch the bumblebee. But why, Grandpa? It's so fuzzy and cute. Because you're very big and the bee is very small. So it might be a bit scared. And bees can sometimes sting when they're scared. They can? 
Yes, so you must be very gentle with them and let them have lots of space. Some people can even be allergic to their stings. <gasps> oh. Peppa isn't sure she likes bees anymore. But bees are also very helpful and kind to the world. They're the reason we have honey. <laughs> I love honey. Bees make honey in hives, just like this one. Can I see? Can I see? Whoa there. There's lots of bees in a hive, so you'll have to change first. Ta-da! I mean, buzz buzz. Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are wearing special thick clothing that protects their heads, hands and bodies from being stung. Splendid! Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George a part of his beehive. All of those bees live in that little house? Yes! This is where they make delicious honey. Bees all work as a team to gather food and protect each other. Like me and George. <laughs> We're just like bumblebees. <laughs> buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> what happens to all the honey that the bees make? Well, we put it in jars like this. Grandpa Pig is collecting the fresh honey in a glass jar. Then we make yummy honey sandwiches for our lunch. Mmm! This is the best sandwich ever. Thank you, little bee. Pepper loves honey sandwiches, and Pepper loves bees for 